the House. Thank you. I call the Honourable Claire Curran. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Look, there's been a lot of passion um, in the House tonight on this issue, and I don't want to diminish that, that passion from anybody um, who has spoken strongly about um, this issue that is so badly affecting our communities. I want to acknowledge uh, anyone who's listening to this debate or watching it or who is sitting in our house tonight who has had a personal experience uh, and who has been harmed. Uh, this is a scourge. I think we all um, acknowledge that. And I also really want to acknowledge Simeon Brown for his, um, for his passion, his determination, and to acknowledge the fact that, uh, that he, as a representative, has listened, um, ha is trying to do something uh, about the scourge. What I would say, though, is that we have been here in this House on this issue numerous times over the last decade trying to address the terrible harm that is being caused in our communities. In 2013, in 2014, we're back here again in 2018, and we haven't got it right. None of us have got it right. And I really want to, to say that tonight because people are really passionate. There's lots of anger on both sides, uh, and we haven't got it right yet. And we need, as, uh, as a group of representatives, in our communities that listen to people, that meet with the families, um, whether it's in the streets, whether it's in their homes. I know I've been into the homes of families who have talked to me about the impact of uh, how their children have changed. Absolutely, their personalities changed by these drugs. They've become people they don't recognise. Um, they steal. They'll do anything to get the money to purchase these drugs. These people are addicted. This is a health, fundamental health issue. I've talked to toxicologists. I've met with toxicologists. I've met with people who have been affected. We know, and we are representatives, and it's up to us to, to come up with a better way a better way to address these issues. And we are more than representatives, we are legislators. And it's up to us as a group, if we agree that this is a scourge, to come up with the best possible way to deal with these issues. An amendment to this legislation to increase penalties is not the way to deal with this issue. And I'm hoping that there is agreement um, across the House, it does seem to be agreement, and I have listened to the whole debate tonight, um, and I have been party to the debates over the years, and I, agree, I haven't got it right. Um, I supported the legislation in 2013 um, uh, to introduce a regulated approach. And then, as um, one of, I think, Tim McIndoe said, we were besieged by members of our community who were horrified that there were still legal places where people could go and purchase psychoactive substances, and we were all came under incredible pressure. We all came under incredible pressure. And another am an amendment to that was passed under urgency, I think, wasn't it, um, in 2014, and I've got Tony Ryle's statement in front of me tonight, the previous national government lauding the fact that that um, change was made and how it was going to make a difference. Uh, and then we hear Nick Smith tonight completely rewriting history. Um, <laughs> and as if somehow Simeon Brown has come up with the way to deal with it. Um, well, we couldn't get it, the previous government couldn't get it right. The whole of the parliament couldn't get it right. We're not going to get it right with an amendment to that legislation to increase penalties, which uh, will not address the harmful health impacts uh, and the drivers for these um, substances being on our streets. 
Uh, so uh, the upshot of that is, is that the Labour Party cannot support this piece of legislation, but we want to work together to get it right. The intent of this, uh, as I understand it, that um, uh, and I, I was reading the submission by the New Zealand Drug Federation, which talks about that uh, how the intent of um, uh, and the, the select committee report talks about how the intent of the bill doesn't even align with the intent of the Pr principal act, um, which means that not only is it not going to work, but it's actually poor. It's a poor legislative approach, and Simeon Brown. Um, your intent is a good intent, but getting good law, our, doing our job as legislators uh, and doing it well should be the intent of the whole of this parliament. So um, the intent of this, uh, this bill does not, is, 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 is not, the right, it's not the right place for this amendment to occur. Um, and, the, uh, and the actual um, effect that it will have, um, as has been heard tonight, whether it was the Police Association, whether it's the um, New Zealand Drug um, uh, Foundation talking about that addressing the supply side of drugs in this way is doomed to failure. And they say that theoretically some suppliers may stop supplying certain products after penalties increase, but other suppliers with less to lose will inevitably fill the gaps. Supply will always step up to meet demand. And um, I think my colleagues, um, a Andrew Little talked about um, helping people who take the substances, holding those who supply it to <laughs> account and getting it off the streets is what we want to do as a parliament. I think we're all agreed on that. Are we not? Does anyone in this parliament disagree with that? No, we don't. But by making an amendment to a piece of legislation to increase penalties when, you, when there is so much harm um, being done to people and when we are not addressing the health impacts um, is is a um, is, and I think um, Nick Smith just uh, used the word pathetic. I describe that as a pathetic, inadequate measure that does not um, reflect well on us as representatives or as legislators. And but that does not mean that we can't work together. We have a um, we have a review of this piece of legislation, the 2013 legislation, which is currently. Um, which I understand has been conducted. We have, um, uh, we have other measures being put in place. Um, we have the, the inquiry into mental health and addiction, which, is, which has touched on the addiction to psychoactive, uh, psychoactive substances, a major piece of work which is about to land sometime in the next um, few months. Those are two really important things that together can help us provide real changes of substance to address the bigger issues. Why are we not waiting for that? Why are not we not all, as a parliament, agreed to work together to make sure that we've got the best um, suite of measures that will work together to deal with the whole issues rather than a small amendment aiming to raise penalties which will not address the fundamental issues. And then what we need to do is to review the Misuse of Drugs Act, which is what the previous government wouldn't do. Those things together will make change. And if we all agree to work together, then uh, we will actually do our jobs for our communities as representatives and try to get the best legislative outcomes. They're not all going to be legislative outcomes because we need to address the health impacts. Those are the things that we need to do, and we need to do them together. I applaud Simeon Brown's intent. I applaud the fact that he wants to um, take on these um, issues. Let's all work together to try and make them work this time. I call Chris Pink. 
Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity to uh, speak to the uh, psychoactive substances increasing